So what's good YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's Jermaine here. I know it's been a bit since I've kind of filmed the video. I've been really struggling to settle down in Bali. Time zones are completely different. It's hot, it's like 32 degrees literally all of the time. And um, it's, we're just getting used to the island life. So we've been a bit sick, this, that, the other. But excuses aside, slash reasons, we're gonna go ahead and start bashing out some YouTube videos, some YouTube source for you guys to kind of help um, scale your agencies, right? So as always, like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy my channel. Let's get into the source. So this is exactly how we took a creator recently to the top 0.5% of all creators in about two to three months, averaging four traffic channels that we're currently using within the HC. So guys, as I've done on my YouTube channel over the last few months now, I've documented different traffic sources that we're using to generate traffic, different chatting strategies to generate sales. But on this video, I'm gonna reveal my four traffic sources that we use to get our model to this 0.5%. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and overlay some video proof that this is us, this is our results. As I know, a lot of people do be faking results, so. None of that bullshit here, guys, all game for you guys. So first traffic source, okay, I do talk about this all the time and that is gonna be Reddit. So Reddit for this particular model did much better than TikTok, for instance, right? TikTok is still within my top four for this model, but Reddit actually generated more paid subs for this particular creator. And what we were doing was running a free trial link for this model on the Reddit account itself. Once we'll get a normal for 50, 60 Reddit free trial links per day, we then added in a VRP $3 paid link to the Reddit profile. All we did was literally pin the free trial link on the Reddit profile. And then once we'll do a normal for 50 to 60 you know, free trial links per day. And guys, I know you guys see as a free trial link, this is running to a paid account, by the way, I only work with paid accounts do not work or manage any model free accounts but with this paid account we essentially were just running free trial links and yes you're not going to get the best quality subs from it however maybe every one to ten subs you will get a spender by average you're going to get some higher paying subs coming in to your funnel and that's exactly what we did we'll probably get one or two good spenders and good spenders spending anything north of 100 200 dollars per day each we're getting you know, one two three of these a day from this reddit profile on a free trial link then we then switched to a paid link okay so we basically had a free trial link then we had a vip paid link both of these links did lead it to the same models of page some guys may notice some guys may not most don't to be honest who didn't have any problems any complaints or any issues like that they just see the link they click on it and they think they're subscriber to our vip page right so they then just went ahead and subscribed okay but this worked incredibly well to then start generating some paid subs at a three dollar twenty sub fee towards that model's account okay and that was literally what we we're doing for about you know, a month now and then after that month after we're getting 30 40 subs paid per day on a paid link, we then completely removed the free trial link, just focus on driving as much traffic as possible to that paid link for that particular model. And that's what worked really well with Reddit for this particular model. Some posts were getting 1K upvotes, 2K upvotes. I think 2.5 was the most we got for that particular model, but we were hitting this maybe a couple of times a week and that generated a great amount of traffic. To kind of go into a little bit of Reddit game, what we're doing to do that is we'll use incentives in the captions, like say yes to this, comment this, comment that, to basically probe, and hopefully hopefully Reddit isn't gonna watch this, but hopefully probe responses from the members of that subreddit, okay? And that works really well with boosting the comments. We reply to the comments, which boosts the engagement, and then we'll then get a bunch of more upvotes organically off the back of that. And yes, yeah, since the whole Reddit situation, we do not upvote heavily with upvote bots. We do mostly organic now, maybe we'll boost 15 to 20 upvotes every now and then on a couple posts per day for our particular models. But now captions is more important than ever. Content is more important than ever. And posting in the right subreddit is more important than ever when you're managing Reddit for your model. So Reddit was the best traffic source for this particular case study for this model. Next was then TikTok. So TikTok has changed over the last few weeks. Now it's not a case of you lunt, if you pump it and dump in flash trends. Right now it has changed quite a bit. Flash trends do still generate views. We have a couple of accounts doing 60, 70, 80K views a day on that. But what's now working really well is the pause game, let's say, or it's like a slideshow, gallery slideshow, right? And we will do this on agency side. So for this particular model, we had anywhere between 10 to 12 accounts all doing this, slideshows for this model, whilst the model was jumping on TikTok Lives doing Cam2 methods. And guys, Cam2 right now, anytime a model jumps on you know, TikTok Live and does a Cam2, that generates a lot, as long as we're getting people in the in the live, we're getting anywhere north of 20 to 30 subs 
every single time she did a live for about an hour an hour and a half so it absolutely crushes it do not sleep on the cam2 method guys right if you're not sure what the cam2 method is drop me a dm on instagram i'm going to release another separate video on this later on down the line but cam2 worked really well on the tiktok lives as well as doing more branded niches account niche account on tiktok you can't have a tiktok account nowadays posting all sorts of content it has to be themed it has to be branded and that does work really really well okay so comedic slash sexual content on tiktok is doing really well obviously it's soft safe for work not full on non-safe for work soft safe for work but mixed with like comedy side of things work incredibly well on tiktok okay that and asmr asmr was doing really well for us also okay third was then paid promo so guys you if you've watched me for a while you know that i haven't really mentioned paid promo before and that's, that's because we've been testing it out quite heavily over the last kind of month to two months and for this particular model we're leveraging paid promo so what does paid promo look like we're basically going on a few different marketplaces i was reaching out to models directly from my personal brand and i was basically building relationships with creators directly and basically paying for shout outs so it's not like shout out for shout outs or anything like that i was literally paying 100 200 dollars for a pinned post on the of feed and about 200 dollars for a mass message send to their active subscribers and for us that was generating a good amount of traffic every single day. Paid promo has been working well over the last few months. However, there's a few caveats to that. So some tips for you guys, if you're gonna look at paid promo, you need to make sure that you're only doing this, particularly with models that have paid accounts. I tested this with models that had free accounts, didn't get good results. The subs that came through were shit. I noticed by, you know, paying promo for models that have like a five dollar fee seven dollar fee eight dollar fee i was basically targeting models that were within you know the top one percent let's say one percent to 1.5 percent i had a few that was like 0 0.3 0 0.2 and i was only working with models that had paid accounts so no models that had free accounts i noticed that just brought into shit results and just shitty subs to be frank with you guys you can manage these free accounts get hit up left, right, and center. Paid account with a barrier to entry of at least five, six, seven dollars as a sub fee. That generated the best results. With this one career within 24 to kind of 48 hours, we got around 70 paid subs. Um, and that cost me like $150. And she was like top 2%, but her sub fee was five dollars so you can imagine if people subscribe to an account with five dollars they are most likely going to be a better quality sub so that worked incredibly well for us with paid promo also choosing models that you buy in promo with that look similar to your models it's like posting in reddit it has to be a similar subreddit same thing applies to this post buy promo for models that look very similar to your model if you're a model watching this make sure they look pretty similar to you as that is what the subs are going to be into that are subscribed to that particular account okay so, so if you guys want this free game on what paid promo websites we're using go ahead subscribe to my email list we're going to drop a campaign out once this video releases on the exact website that i'm using now to buy my paid promo for and i do have multiple websites i'll give you guys some free game and i'll just give you one of those websites and that has generated a lot of results for us so you can go ahead and get this for free just go ahead subscribe to the ofm newsletter below and i'll send you out that resource personally okay so go ahead subscribe below the fourth traffic source that we used to hit this model to the top 0.5 percent was twitter so we have been jumping back on twitter in the last few months now and uh, i am using someone for this they've been doing pretty well we're getting around 10 to 15 paid subs per day from this on a free dollar link it's not as high as most people i see on twitter to be honest with you but we are being getting a lot of good quality spenders now it's not as good quality as reddit for example but each person coming in will spend anywhere between kind of 30 to 40 dollars times that by 10 people per day over a month's period you're going to warrant a couple grand in the sales from that so that is also another area where we're getting some good paid subs for our models and the strategy on twitter is heavily posting four to five times per day four to five different pictures one video we do comment arbitrage so we comment on other of creators and we comment a picture or like a meme kind of thing a sexual meme and that has been generated a good amount of impressions impression then leads to views views then lead to clicks we're not really doing any mother slave or anything like that we are working on some ai tools that can potentially help us with twitter um, but right now um, we're not using twitter after twitter to be fair twitter and dating apps probably close to hand in hand i would say twitter got more results but dating apps 
probably in the next month is going to overtake with that for this particular model. So we have launched dating apps over the last few weeks. Now we're leveraging Tinder, Bumble, and we are using a bot that we're currently working with and that's been working really well for us in terms of generating clicks, views, subscribers, and followers to the model's Instagram page. And yes, we funnel to Instagram, we don't funnel to Snapchat. I know there's better conversions from Instagram or Snapchat, which has got a load of free loaders that are trying to just chat to the model on a personal level. So we don't want no brokies, we are trying to scale accounts. So that's why I'm going to the Instagram instead of Snapchat. But I would say Twitter is probably more profitable right now just because of the fact that dating apps does cost a lot more in setup fees and management fees. So I would say Twitter is probably the fourth traffic source closely followed by dating app. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some game on this. I'm not too sure when this is gonna be released, but when it is, hopefully you guys enjoy. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, but this video is important for the channel, so you guys know I am still actively running my agency. We still have models killing it right now. Um, and I know I do have my program, I do have my one-to-one -one mentorships, but still 80% of my income does come from my actual agency. So practicing what I preach on the channel and to you guys. So like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy my content. Peace out and I'll see you in the next one.